What's going on, church fam? Welcome back to Everyday Church Life. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So I was meditating on the word of God. Then I heard the Holy Spirit say, you've made progress. In spite of what people may have said about you or what they try to hold against you, God wanted me to let you know you've made progress. Because sometimes whenever we try to become better people, whenever we try to change, the enemy always try to remind us of our past and the stuff we may have did to just feel bad about ourselves. But God said, if you keep on believing in him, he will bring you out of that dungeon that the enemy tries to keep you in, into a place of newness, into a place of freedom. So as I'm meditating on this word that the Heavenly Father placed in my spirit, he reminded me of Peter, how when Peter first met Lord Jesus, he was an unsuccessful fisher. And Lord Jesus came preaching and teaching him about the gospel, about the kingdom of God. And he told him to cast his net back into the sea because when they first met up, Peter was unsuccessful fishing all night alongside of his partners. And so to make a long story short, Peter became successful that day. They experienced and overflow. But Peter said this in Luke 5, verse 8. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. See, sometimes we get in the way of our own blessings because. Since Peter was reflecting on his past or just feeling down about himself, he felt like he didn't deserve a blessing from God. And that's how the enemy will attack your mind. He will make you feel like you can't be in the presence of God. He will try to make you feel like you're not loved by God. So we start saying stuff like, depart from me because I'm a sinful creature. But not only did Jesus not depart from Simon Peter, he also gave his life purpose. In Luke 5, verse 10, And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. So, it's a blessing that the Heavenly Father doesn't honor our thoughts and the stuff that we say. And that's why today he wants me to let you know you've made progress because you didn't quit even though there was stuff that you were still struggling with. You didn't leave him even though you felt bad about yourself. See, Peter had a lot of challenges. And that's one of the main people that Lord Jesus continued to teach. He struggled with fear at times. He struggled with unbelief at times. He even denied Lord Jesus three times when the spiritual warfare increased in their lives because Lord Jesus was at trial and the people wanted to get everybody that was attached to Lord Jesus. So he went through his challenges, but God never left him. Today, God is saying the same thing to you. No matter what you have done in your past, God will not leave you. It's not our power or the things we may have did or may have not did that's going to get us into heaven. It's the power of Christ. It's the unconditional love of Christ. It's the Holy Spirit that's going to strengthen us in our time of doubt, in our time of need. I believe sometimes the Heavenly Father allow our lives to become so hard so we can eventually get to a place of becoming tired. Because the words say, when you become tired, you go to Lord Jesus and he will give you rest. 
You wait upon Lord Jesus and he shall renew your strength. You shall run and not be weary. You shall walk and not faint. The words say in Luke 22, verse 31 through 32. And the Lord says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. See, when God has a great calling over your life, the enemy will try to single you out in order to destroy you because he don't want you to step into the full character of who God created you to be. See, Peter went on to be a powerful man of God, even though he started off with his challenges. And the reason why the spiritual warfare sometimes increases in our lives is because the enemy don't want you to believe God loves you. See, you're blessed by God and highly favored. That's what the enemy is trying to keep from you. He don't want you to receive that testimony because it's through our testimonies that we can prove the perfect will of God. See, you've made progress because of your love for Lord Jesus Christ. So just like what Lord Jesus said to Peter when he said, when you are fully converted, strengthen thy brethren. As God continues to work on you, give your brethren hope as well. Because there is somebody else out there that feel like they've done too much wrong to come to God. But that's not true. That's just an intrusive thought that the enemy wants you to believe. But we got to cast down every imagination and every high thing that tried to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. We got to cast those intrusive thoughts out because the enemy wants you to believe a lie. God never left you. He never forsook you. He has always been there. It's how we view ourselves that calls us to step out of the presence of God. When we look down upon ourselves, when we feel like God can't possibly use someone like me, that's what calls us to step out of the presence of God. That's what causes that spiritual warfare to intensify in our lives to a point that we feel like we're losing the battle or we feel like there is no possible way we can escape this stuff that's attacking us. When God said the battle has already been won by Lord Jesus, we already have the victory. It's all about our belief system at the end of the day. Do you believe that God can do all things in your life? Do you believe Lord Jesus Christ laid his life down so that you may be saved and set free? Do you believe in the word of God for what he have spoken upon our lives. That's why the words say, Lord Jesus is the word that became flesh, that dwell among us. The Bible say, everything shall perish but the word of God. So when we believe in Lord Jesus and he dwell in us, that's the word of God dwelling in us. And that's why we won't perish. He who began a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Christ. That's why God is telling you, you've made progress because of your love for Lord Jesus. The word also say all things, not some, but all things work together for the good of them that love God. It's because of your love for Christ. This won't be the end of you. You will overcome the things you struggle with. But first, you got to stop talking negative about yourself. And you got to stop worrying about what others may try to say about you or whatever they try to hold against you. Don't worry about that. The enemy is always trying to accuse someone for something. But God said, when you confess your sins to him, he will remember your sins no more. He will forgive you for your sins. See, repentance means 
to turn away from something. That's what repentance means. And that's why the enemy always tries to accuse us. Because just like Peter, when he said, depart from me, for I'm a sinful man. So we repent from God instead of our sins. The enemy wants us to turn away from God instead of our sins. That's what repentance means, to turn away from something. God wants you to turn toward him. Just because of how stuff may look in your life right now, doesn't mean you're doing as bad as you probably think you are in your mind. God said you've made progress. So the Heavenly Father reminded me of a dream that I had a while ago about being a light in a dark place. So there was this dark room that was filled with a bunch of different people. Some live regular everyday lives, but also the room was filled with celebrities. And there was different celebrities, some fighters, actors, musicians, and also just influencers that you may see on these social media platforms, right? And there was two people that held a light in this dark room. There was this lady, she was standing behind a musician. Now what's crazy about it, the musician was Tupac. <laughs> and she was standing behind him holding the light. And the Heavenly Father also used me to be a light in a dark place and I was standing behind everybody else that was in the room. So when the Heavenly Father originally spoke to me about this dream, he said, that's why I need you to be set apart and be a light in a dark place. Because the Heavenly Father was just teaching me, that's how you become a strong leader. When you don't conform to the ways of the land. And it's easier said than done. I'm not even going to lie to you. But... The Heavenly Father gave me an additional meaning to this dream as I'm doing this video, right? He said, the reason why you were standing behind everybody is so you can pass the torch, you know, extend grace. And the Heavenly Father showed me in a vision, basically what this means is when God strengthened you, right? Because it's going back to that scripture when Lord Jesus said, when you are fully converted, strengthen your brethren, right? It's going back to that scripture when Lord Jesus was talking to Peter. But God told me, he said, the reason why you were standing behind people is so you can share your light to ignite others flame. So you can help them also become a light in a dark place. And then... They, too, when they're fully converted, will share their flame to another. God has given all of us a candle, and we can share that candle. We can share that light. When you see someone else light going out, share your candle with them. And so after the Heavenly Father was explaining that to me, he said, the more you strengthen your brethren, when God continues to convert you, to change you, to do a mighty work from the inside of you so that you become a better person. He said, that's when his glory begins to shine upon our lives. Suddenly, what was once a dark room is filled with light because you didn't keep that wisdom and knowledge and understanding to yourself. And the Heavenly Father, he was just showing me how a lot of times when people move into a position of power or just a better place in life in general, either they look down upon people or they feel like they got to this position themselves. So they don't extend grace or they just don't use this position to glorify the name of God, to bless the name of the Lord, the one who placed you in a better position in life. Now, how all this correlates together, right? God is basically saying, as you continue to make progress, don't forget to strengthen your brethren because they too need hope. We all have started from a place of darkness. That's why God said, you're not doing as bad as you think. 
All you got to do is continue to believe in the work that Lord Jesus have provided for us. See, Lord Jesus already did the groundwork. Now we just got to keep extending grace. Sometimes the reason why people continue to feel bad about themselves is because they're holding on to too much glory. We got to give God his glory, y'all. So basically what I'm saying as I bring this to a close is help others make progress because that's how we continue to make progress. When God strengthen you, when God continues to change you, extend that grace to another. That's why Lord Jesus told his disciples, the world will know you are his disciples when you have love for one another. So that's basically what it's all about, y'all. It's all about love. When you love Lord Jesus, that's what's going to help you keep going. And that's why today God is saying, you've made progress. It's a blessing that we serve a merciful and a graceful God. He loves us, y'all. That's the reason why we're still living. That's the reason why we still can glorify his name. That's the reason why we still can make a difference because it doesn't matter about your social status or what job position you hold. Just like that dream, it was people that live regular everyday lives and it was people that were celebrities. But at the end of the day, they was all in the same boat. We was all in this dark room. And it was only two people that had a light. And God said, extend that light to another. Because he said, the more you do that, the brighter the light becomes. And it will convert the room from darkness to light. That's why the enemy trying to single you out. Because if you are one person that's holding a light, eventually it's going to die out because it won't be able to sustain itself. You get what I'm saying? The enemy is trying to single you out so you won't remain connected to Lord Jesus. And that's what causes our light to go out to just clarify that a little bit more in detail. But sometimes Christ will strengthen you just so you can strengthen another. That's the moral of the story of what this video is really about. And that's the reason why You've made progress. You've made progress to help somebody else make progress. So continue to allow the Heavenly Father to do that mighty work from within you because whatever God starts, he will finish. And stop talking negative about yourself because what we say have power. So we got to choose our words wisely, especially if we hope to grow spiritually. So keep on believing. I pray this word bless you in Jesus name. Amen. I love y'all.